when we were children, now I don't think I would have done this if it hadn't have been, uh, if it hadn't have been for the guy that I was friends with at that short period of time. There was a block of flats, a block of apartments, um, and they were 12 stories high. On the 12th floor, there was a bin chute, which means that you could take the elevator or the stairs to the top, and whilst at the top, you could go to the apartments, but in the staircase was a room in ev on every floor, and this was a place where you could take your rubbish, and it was a chute that would drop it down to the bin containers below. Also, there was a window. The window was there purely to let ventilation into the building. Um, but it had uh, slats, timber slats. Instead of glass window, it had timber slats to, uh, one, allow you some kind of vision out and the air to come through. So, well, these slats, when I went, they had been... <coughs> They had been removed, they'd been kicked in or however it had been done, they'd been removed. So we were at the top, 12th floor, and so the guy I was with decided to be a stunt man. So he climbed up onto the windowsill, he held onto the window frame and leaned out of the window. And so like a complete and utter tool, I leaned out as well. We kept taking turns. And on a following journey when we went, we took water balloons. And when people were passing down below, we'd throw the water balloons to try and make them wet. Well, we did it once to a man. A full-grown man. And if it wasn't for the fact that we were... If it wasn't for the fact that we were good runners, I think we would have got caught and got in, got battered by the by the older man. He definitely would have kicked our butts. So, don't hang out of a apartment block window. Don't throw water balloons out of an apartment block window. I was 13 years old. I was with my cousin. Um, from being 13 years old, my cousin and I would be sent off to Italy from England to summer holiday in Italy because that's where my, my cousin's family are from. So my cousin had an apartment, but at that age we used to stay with the family. When I was 13 was the first time I ever was given the opportunity to slaughter a chicken. Defeathered the chicken, boiled the skin of the chicken, cut open the chicken, took out the, the giblets out of the chicken and put to one side the heart, the kidneys and so on. When I was 13, I'd learned how to dissect the chicken. I had a really good idea about something to vlog about. I was reading a comment that uh, Silver Screen Girl um, made on a video from Clara Chick just a few days ago. Oh, in fact, we're going past uh, Silver Screen Girl's car, but in black. Hey! <laughs> um, so, she said in Hawaii when she was a teenager, which was only about 10 years ago, um, that they had a program for the summer holidays where they got the children together and, you know, they did something. I suppose she's describing something like one of those children's films that you see or... Uh, do you remember that film, The Mask? With Cher and that guy that's out of Pulp Fiction, the heroin dealer. Yeah? Yeah, you know what I mean? The heroin dealer from Pulp Fiction. You've seen it? Well, he was The Mask. So he was sent to blind camp, or there's that other one, band camp. So Beth was talking about something, I think she was talking something similar to that. If it wasn't, I'm sure she'd, she'd comment and, and uh, put her variation on it. So when I was a child, um, by the age of 12 years old, I was already demonstrating on abortion rights. I was demonstrating that um, 
abortion rights that should be no longer than 12 weeks. Um, I was demonstrating on um, an adventure playground for children under the age of 16 for my council estate, which was really good actually because, I don't know, maybe, no actually maybe I was about 10 years old when I was doing that. Um, basically there was plenty of area, a lot of places to walk, a lot of places to go, but actually nothing to do. We had um, football fields, two of them actually, two football fields where you could go and play football or play games, um, and a small children's park. But besides that there wasn't anything to do, but what we could do was demonstrate for more. So we were told that the municipality did have money and they needed to choose a place, a deprived area, that could benefit from more. So we demonstrated at the town hall, um, it was passed and the, the plans were drawn up and the children and some uh, youth advisors got together and they decided that uh, here there had to be a hole dug because the plan said some fence put round but all the fences were made out of trees, uh, not, not, not just trees, but cut down trees uh, with the bark left on them tied together, dug into the ground. Um, some four metre high swings with rope and a bit of a seat on it and a platform that you can jump off and swing. A building was also made, constructed, and each day there would be a community leader in this room who had to go to college to learn to work with children up to the age of 16 and deal with the many problems that happen on a council estate with children who are deprived. But in this room, uh, you were able to paint, you were able to uh, get creative, you were able to play with toilet rolls and wallpaper and sellotape. You were, like, you were able to do the Blue Peter thing. If you've never seen Blue Peter, Google Blue Peter, Google that shit. Here comes Beth Car. Look, can you see? It's a Chrysler CRD 300C. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got two exhaust pipes. <laughs> and so, can you imagine this adventure playground that we were given? It was fantastic. Christ, I must have been going there for six years at least. Um, you know, by the age of 15, you had the opportunity of being enrolled into a into a the community program and, and and learn to be a part of the community helping team. But it really wasn't for me that I didn't really want to do that. Um, <clears throat> So, I, um, but anyway, you know, I became a professional swinger and we had one of those death slides. It was about five meters high going down to one meter and it was on a roll and you have to grab onto this stick and you run and you jump off the tower and you slide down and as you're going down, you're going faster and you're going faster until you get down to the bottom and it whoops and it slingshots you back halfway. Oh, it was fantastic. I'm sorry, <coughs> I would have got a little bit more excited but my throat's gone. I don't think, maybe I'm just not used to talking this much. Maybe I'm just not used to talking this much in a high voice. And maybe I need to learn to speak a little bit deeper but if I do that, I'll sound right boring. Anyway, oh my Manchester accent really came out then, right boring. So, Adventure Playgrounds. They are super cool for children. Super cool for children. If you are not working in the community, get your ass out there and build an adventure playground for the children in your area if there is if there's cause and help um, and a field's going spare. Do it please. You will be remembered by those children. Like Pat Robinson. Thanks Pat. Pat Robinson, she did a wonderful job. Hey, Pat Robinson. A wonderful woman. <laughs>